Hello, I'm Craig from Ohio Steel here in Columbus, Ohio. Today we're going to go over the unboxing and assembly of the Ohio Steel Lawn Sweeper. Congratulations on your new purchase. Your total assembly time should take about 30 minutes, so let's get started. Here's what you'll find inside the box. The sweeper hood assembly, a rolled up hopper bag, the owner's manual, and two parts boxes. First, untie the straps from the hopper bag. Unroll the hopper bag and flatten by placing the main box on top of the unrolled bag. You may need to add additional weight to the box in order to flatten out the hopper bag. This flattening will assist with assembly later on in this video. Now, open the parts boxes. Here's what you'll find. Two hitch mount tubes, one height adjustment handle, two connecting tubes, two top frame tubes, two bottom frame tubes, one tension tube assembly, one nylon rope, one bag assembly hardware blister pack, one hitch cross tube assembly, one hitch assembly, two center frame tubes, one stop bar, and one pivot rod. Now that all parts have been unpacked and organized, please take this opportunity to locate your owner's manual. Flip to the warranty page and attach your receipt to this page. All warranty claims require that you share your proof of purchase with Ohio Steel's customer service team. Step one, locate the hitch mount tubes and the hardware blister pack. Pop out the following pieces of hardware from the blister pack. Four two inch long hex bolts, four curved washers, the group of four flat washers in the blister pack, four nylock nuts. Please pay close attention to how I'm orienting the hitch mount tubes in this step of assembly. Take the two inch bolts and first insert through the curved washer, then through the hitch mount tube, and finally through holes in the sweeper hood. Notice that the longer portion of the hitch mount tube is pointing to the rear of the lawn sweeper. This orientation is essential to the functionality of the lawn sweeper. Now hand thread the nylock nuts onto the two inch bolts inside the hood assembly. Repeat this for the other side of the sweeper hood. Now tighten hardware, but do not over tighten as this can crush the hitch mount tubes. It is important not to deform the hitch mount tubes because the connecting tubes need to be able to slide freely into and out of these tubes later in the assembly. Step two, locate the hitch cross tube and align the tubes for insertion into the hitch mount tubes at the front of the lawn sweeper. Depress the snap buttons and insert until the buttons snap into place. Step three, locate the hitch assembly. Using the tethered quick release pins, pin the hitch to the hitch cross tube. Step five, now let's move on to the assembly of the bag frame. Locate both bottom frame tubes and one of the center frame tubes. Lay the center frame tube so that the holes on the side of the tube are facing up. Now bring in a bottom frame tube with the snap button facing up. Depress a snap button and insert into center frame tube. You should hear it snap into place. Step six, locate the hopper bag and the hopper stop bar. Slide the hopper stop bar into the pocket of the hopper bag. Step seven, grab the hardware blister pack and pop out both one and one quarter inch long clevis pins and two of the seven hairpins. Insert the bottom frame tube assembly that you already assembled inside the bottom of the bag. Push the frame inside and to the back of the bag. This step is important. You will need to align both holes of the bottom frame tubes with two points. First, with the slots on the hopper stop bar. Second, with the grommets of the hopper bag. You may need to stretch the hopper bag with the frame assembly to align the holes. When the holes are aligned, insert a one and one quarter inch long clevis pin from the bottom through the hopper stop bar and grommets in the hopper bag. Secure clevis with a hairpin. Repeat the clevis installation on the other side. Step eight, assemble the top frame assembly. Locate both top frame tubes and the remaining center frame tube. Lay the center frame tube so the holes on the side of the tube are facing down. Now grab the top frame tube with the snap button facing down. Depress the snap button and insert into the center frame tube. Again, you should hear it snap into place. Now repeat this on the other side of this tube. Step nine, grab the hardware blister pack and pop out the remaining one half inch long clevis pins, four of the remaining five hair pins, and the two remaining flat washers. Also, 
locate the hopper pivot rod and connecting tubes. Take the top frame assembly and insert into the top of the hopper bag. Stretch the top frame assembly up so that you can install a clevis pin into both aligned holes. This step may require stretching the bag to align the holes on the bottom frame tubes with the holes in the top frame tubes. Once these are aligned, insert clevis and secure with hairpin on each side. Now repeat this on the other side. Step 10. Slide the hopper pivot rod through the top frame tube and the connecting tube, then through the pocket of the hopper bag, and then through both the connecting tube and the top frame tube on the other side. Secure both ends with a washer and a hairpin. Step 11. Locate the tension tube assembly and unscrew the pre-installed thumb screw. Stand behind the hopper bag. Grab and pull up on the top center frame tube. Take the tension tube and insert through the window in the hopper bag. Looking down, align the stud with the hole in the bottom center frame tube and insert. With your other hand, pull the top center frame tube over top of the tension tube. Align the hole in the top of the tension tube with the hole in the top center frame tube. Step 12. Reinstall the thumb screw into the tension tube. To finish the bag assembly, fold the Velcro flap over like this. Step 13. Now it's time to attach the hopper bag to the lawn sweeper hood assembly. Locate and pop out the two quick release pins from the hardware blister pack. Bring the bag assembly up to the back of the hood assembly. You may find it helpful to slightly lean the bag forward as you line up the connecting tubes with the hitch mount tubes. Insert the connecting tubes into the hitch mount tubes. Line up the holes in the connecting tubes with the holes in the hitch mount tubes and insert a quick release pin on each side. Step 14. Last but not least, locate the dump rope and tie around the top center frame tube. And that completes the assembly of your Ohio Steel Lawn Sweeper. I'm Craig from Ohio Steel and remember, yard work shouldn't be hard work.